Hi everyone, thought I'd just check in, um, make sure everyone's okay, and uh, let you know what I've been up to. I know a lot of people will be at home right now, either they may have lost their job or be out of work or working from home. So I thought I'd make this video to, um, to show you what I've been doing and, and how I've been keeping myself busy, and give you a few ideas on how possibly you could keep yourself busy as well. Inspired by all the makers doing great work out there, I thought I'd design a face shield. Now I could have just downloaded the heaps of shields that are out there at the moment, um, but I wanted one that I could put a clear film on without the need for punching holes in the clear film. And so I've designed this, this piece here where um, it's just a, a headpiece for a face shield, which is worn like so and it's also I've designed it so that it actually springs back onto the forehead um, so it grips on there without the need for elastic uh, but I wanted the the shield to be a, a system where someone that's in in a medical uh, profession or, or in a hospital or emergency department if they had to replace the plastic shield that they didn't need to then have a specific hole punch or a specific pattern of holes to to replace that shield. They could just use a standard A4 clear piece of plastic. And so the the plastic I've found is a overhead projector A4 sheet that you can buy in, in packs of 20. And they're actually designed for a photocopier. I found the, the photo, for some reason, the same brand photocopy A4 sheets were much cheaper than the overhead projector A4 sheets and they're both 100 micron and they're both from the same manufacturer and they both are suitable for overhead projectors so I'm not sure why the uh, photocopy one is cheaper than the overhead projector one but that's one I'm, I'm, I'm going to use and uh, have got a pack coming in it's not here yet but I've got a pack coming coming in so what I've been doing is I've been using just A4 uh, white paper, printer paper, to use uh, for the prototype. There it is there. And you can see it just it just clips on to the the headpiece using this piece here. And I don't know if you can see it, it's got a little uh, got a little nub on the bottom there uh, that just locks into the side. So it just slides on and clips onto the actual the, the front of the, the shield. The beauty of that system is that you can have the plastic flush with the top of the shield mount or if you want to um, protect more of your forehead like have it come up higher you can adjust it so that it actually goes up above the top of the shield bracket so it's also adjustable and then I just cut the corners off uh, to take away any sharp edges but uh, once it's on it uh, offers a fair bit of protection to the face. I'm doing this one hand because I've got my microphone in the other hand. Um, where'd you go? Okay, just need to break in here for a tick. Uh, the plastics arrived, which is great, but I'm not that happy with it because it's a little bit milky. It's not nice and clear, or as clear as I hoped it would be. So. Uh, I'm going to source some new plastic acetate sheet for these visors. And the other thing is, I've, well, my wife found a bit of a, a design flaw with this system. And that is, when she went to put it on, she spread the the piece out and somehow it, this clip popped off. Um, although it's not doing it now, somehow she, she got it to pop off. So... Uh, I went back to the drawing board and redesigned this and came up with this, I think, better and simpler system. There's no no clip piece that goes around the outside now on the other one, as it was on the other one. Um, and I've just printed these little, I don't know if you can see that, these little buttons that just press clip in through the side here. So I just punch a hole in the acetate with a, a scalpel blade and just put a couple of cuts into it and a cross cut and then push that little button in 
and that's locked it on really securely. So um, I'm very happy with the way it's coming along. I've, I've made a few changes since this version, uh, a bit more support in here because I found it was a bit too flexible and wasn't gripping the head well enough. Um, so I've got, I've got a print on now that you can probably hear over my shoulder and um, I'm going to see how that works out and if I might need to put a little bit more support in through here I'll see how it goes once it's printed because having this extra piece over and around this portion of the frame really gave it a lot more stiffness and it really sort of was more snug on the head to wear so I'm going to try and get that stiffness back into, into this frame. Um, I think a few supports in through here will, will help that. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, but that's it. Back to the video. But you can see it, uh, I think it works pretty well. And you can also wear it with glasses too, which is I think another bonus. So if I put my glasses on, you can see I've designed the, the shape of the shield to be a bit more squarer so it can also go straight over glasses in my case without touching uh, the glasses and still give airflow so that it should stop um, the shield from fogging up. Uh, so that's that's what I've been doing on that front. So I'm going to make that this piece available for oh we also tried a piece with holes in the forward uh, contact area but i found that it was uh, not as comfortable having those holes in there so i've just gone back to the to the flat uh, the flat design like like so so i'll be making this available at the time you're watching this video to download on my patreon site now it's it'll be a free download you don't have to subscribe to download this on my patreon I just it's just an easy platform for me to upload models and share them uh, on that platform so so if you want to check out that um, or download this model and print some for yourself or share them around uh, here's the link um, to my patreon site uh, download it and uh, print it try it out and, and see what you think so what I, I made this personally for my wife who is a, a midwife and also works in non-emergency patient transport so uh, I know she and her fellow staff members don't have these face shields so I've I'm printing I've printed oh, about 10 at the moment so I've just going to have my printer going uh, non-stop to print about 20 of them and I'll make those up and and share them out with her and her, her co-workers and then see if uh, anybody else wants some more I'll, I'll get some more film in and and uh, print some more so uh, that's going to keep me busy for a little while. While I'm on Patreon, I'd just like to welcome uh, Marek on board. Uh, Marek joins Brian as my second Patreon uh, subscriber. So thanks very much, Marek, for, for, for coming on board. Um, Marek and Brian have both received these models so far, and I'm still working on more for them to download and print. Uh, currently working on a Falcon Heavy rocket and then I'll do a Falcon Super Heavy. So uh, if that's something that you might be interested in, well, consider having a look at the, the Patreon and, and, and becoming a, a team member. I've got new models coming each month. So um, even if you're not a member, just, just stop by and have a look and see what's going up there. Uh, there's also free models to download. So uh, you don't have to be a subscriber to get the benefit of my Patreon account. So stop by and have a look. Here's the address again. and. Um, there might be something that you could download and enjoy printing for yourself. So uh, check it out. I'll also be uploading the modeling video for this face shield and uh, showing how I modeled it in Blender. Uh, that video will be going up onto my 3D parts channel. If you're not aware of my 3D parts channel, it's the channel I'll be uploading all my 3D modeling videos to in the future. I'll also have the modeling video for the SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket going up there soon as well. So that's it for this one. Make sure you uh, self-isolate, stay out of circulation, stay home, stay safe. And until next time, bye for now.